you have been the Chronix Rabbit Hole, and Kai, thank you so much for your YouTube membership request. You are bringing Theater of Tragedy back down the rabbit hole, and I am super excited because today we are going to be reacting to Sweet Art Thou. And we are back with the Theater of Tragedy self-titled album. We love this one. Will there be piano? Most likely. So let's check it out because we love it. Kai, thank you so much for this write-up because we love getting a little bit of context with bands that we are still unfamiliar with. And since we're going through an album technically from this band, it's also nice to know what each song means for the album too. So we're at Sweet Art Thou from this album. You interpret the Beauty and the Beast vocals are thoughts in someone's mind. Very cool. Someone lost his wife and misses her in his mind. In his head, he, he hears her inner voices. His mournful voice and her angelic voice telling him that she is now in a better place where she enjoys drinking wine like a queen and enjoys the land rich with fields. Very So though cool. she's passed on, she's at a better place, I hear. Very cool. I'm really excited to get into this and to hear these Beauty and the Beast lyrics because you all know how much I love the Beauty and the Beast lyrical play within song. So let's get into this one. mention is since we got a new setup we can't hear each other as well okay, through right. this so make sure you pause when you want to talk okay and or keep some of the thoughts we have more to say when we do pause it we can do that absolutely and you can still add them so they hear i just can't really hear your ad libs good much. to know moving forward that's how we're doing it
it even has like an old um opeth type of a vibe with some of like the black metal elements that you yeah. really get from them like they're obviously at the symphony and theater feel especially with the piano there you isolated and took away that piano it almost feel like uh like black death metal and that's really cool because what a contrast and what a thing to yeah. explore and it was really cool when they both were singing at the same time and then they were taking turns kind of being the echo behind the singer there too and i thought that was mesmerizing i love how theater of tragedy really utilizes that kind of play with the vocals in a lot of their music is like oh yeah um it's like it, it really is I've, I've called it a waltz with the lyrics in the past because they're each taking turns as being the one who's uh forward facing to you as yeah, well said. spin around it's yeah. like a waltz as they're dancing through the song mm -hmm. and um i love the fact that they're also singing different lyrics while they're echoing each other exactly it's not like it's not, an, it's not an too echo bad. it's like that's an true actual overlap it's conversation it's a conversation a yeah so like that's something that i actually find very unique i believe they did that in phantom of the opera so right. like, yeah, yeah, very true. Um, that's something that really stuck out to me, as which made Phantom of the Opera one of my favorite pieces because of that that key moment. So yeah. now knowing that theater of tragedy has actually interwoven that throughout the entire album that we've been listening to which thus they far, have. yeah, really shows like what they just heard their flowers. They were, how like they, and progressive, they, yeah, yeah, and how Way they really do, <laughs> do deserve their flowers, but how progressive they were to really lead things going forward. Because I believe, um, I I don't know when phantom of the opera came out or anything like that but i know that um this band here kai that you have given us is one of the ones that was really uh the first to use the, the beauty, beauty and the beast lyrics in this kind of a way so it really shows just what they were really uh pushing forward it, with very with influential their right they're very influential yeah like i can hear so many bands that mm -hmm. i don't even know if they were influenced by it but you can see how many genres they really brought into this like i wouldn't even know what type of a genre to really call this because no. like you could call it beauty and the the beast i understand that but what would you put it uh, outside of that maybe it's kind of progressive metal symphonic in a way i don't even know what you would call it please let us it's know what you feel yeah too. very gothic -y. i think that's a more better yeah. um, feel that you get from it because it is a tragedy and you feel it in the storytelling no matter what the story is there and i really liked at the very end like the guitar throughout was phenomenal but yeah. at the very end that guitar was almost like it was like like climbing up a staircase like trying to get out of something and then falling back down like right yeah yeah right so like that was a really fun thing to kind of keep you engaged and really like get you in that moment of being in that mournful feeling so like i just really want to shout out that guitar that kept yeah repeating there because of just it sounded great at the end there. It sounded that was the great. part that made me think of some of like uh, Opus type of mm -hmm. slower solos at the end there. That, Absolutely. That really do make you feel very mournful. And that's the type of message they're trying to get out with theater of tragedy there. But it's also yeah. sweet because it was sweet art thou. And it was that conversation that she is mm -hmm. drinking like the queens and kings over there. So that is pretty cool. And if y'all are having fun like the kings and queens... Please hit the like button, and if you want to see more Theater of Tragedy, hit that subscribe button notification bell so you don't miss more of them coming down the rabbit hole, because there are more coming down, and we can't wait to finish off this amazing album. Kai, thank you so much for this request, and Chronicans, thank you so much for being here. We are now exiting the rabbit hole, folks. Thank you so much, Kai and Chronicans. This was such a treat. Peace and love, everyone. God bless y'all. Take care, and bye for now.